Kessler. Черный как смола, девятка черная, я как мясо дула, черный ростола, как стены моего подъезда, паутины купола, дети в поисках себе ты такой же как и я, ты зависим, ты соответствуем, тебе нужен аппарат, президента и собрать чудо центр, твою мать, это сука, что ты с чем-то, ты под чем-то, ты как джентльмен, удачи, весь версачи и на банк, клюбы Сентименты кем-то, кем-то себе возомнил Дала, дала, бел Нахуй все, что ты зажрал Нахуй все, что ты скурил Ничего и никогда Ты еще так не любил Пей со мной Сукин Before I start this car review, I want to say that I love W140. I belong to those people who just go crazy about them without any logical explanation. For me, that car is better than any Ferrari or Rolls Royce or anything that is for sale right now. But I will tell the truth about this vehicle and some people will not like it, so sorry. Every YouTube video about W140 in Russian and in English say that on development of this car was spent 1 billion dollars, especially in R&D department. But Mercedes didn't create anything new with W140, all the technology already existed. Some say all that money went into developing to the future technologies such as air suspension, parking sensors, car telephone, GPS system and night vision. Those technologies were in the future models like W220 and W221. Let's start from air suspension. First air suspension that were used actively were in 1950s in Daytona circuit racing, then in 60s in drag racing. In 1958 in Cadillac Eldorado air suspension was in the base stream and 1958 Eldorado is one of my favorite cars. Actually, it's one of my dream cars also. I just love it. For sure, money were not spent on parking sensors, because in Toyota Corona in 1982 they already developed that technology and it was for sale and available to anybody who wants to buy it. In the beginning of the 90s, Toyota was selling not just GPS system, but voice control GPS system in the Toyota Celsor, also known as Lexus LS. That time Lexus LS outsold S-Class by 200% in the US market and just humiliated it. In my opinion, that some amount of that billion maybe went on developing 8 liter V16. But they closed that project. Also, there are some rumors that W16 was developed but they, they stopped developing it or didn't finish it. Just rumors. My point is that technologies that they advertise so strongly was already in the market, and some of them even more than 10 years. Mercedes-Benz did not invent anything in that period exactly in that car, even though they spent so much money. All my life I was wondering where all that money went. It pains me to admit it, but I think some of them was stolen or in, in other words money was spent inefficiently. But there is a huge but. When you drive it, only car that feels the same, feels the same luxury is Rolls Royce, the modern Rolls Royce race. Design was great, but compared to the rivals, it wasn't so modern. Nevertheless, in CIS countries, car was immortal and cemented its respect literally. But not in the West. In the West, people loved more BMW E38 than W140. And I can see why, the lines are more smoother and silkier and it's age better than W140. Even Brian Sackham, the head designer of W140 was not happy with it. He actually said that it was too square. Strange thing is that in my heart that is the best car for me in the world. Especially this W140 that came out of the tuning house Karat. Interior in great condition. It is such a treat when you touch expensive, good quality, real leather. And even stitching is made from silk. Can't stop touching it. 
Four people will feel comfortable here. I ask my friends to chauffeur me around the town, to understand how is it in the back on 20 inch rims. It is not soft as I used to in W140s, but it's not rock hard, it's normal. Interior was great, especially in trim karat, leather seat, TV, foam, real expensive wood. I felt like El Presidente. Wood table has royal feel to it and it's so magnificent to sit here and drive. Also, phone is very nice too. Engine here is M119. It is one of the most reliable engines that Mercedes produced and most desirable for W140. V12 is good, but it will hit your wallet with maintenance every time. If you have deep pockets, then V12 is the engine to have. Our engine is V8, it generates 326 brake horsepower, 5 liter, and everybody loves the V8 rumble. Camshaft is connected with a chain, so it is a must to control engine chain. So it will not stretch. If it will, then wallet will stretch with it. Please check the chain every 100,000 kilometers. Also, please pay attention to the thermostats and cooling system. If properly maintained, this engine can easily serve up to 700,000 km. W140 has three types of transmissions, 4-speed automatic, 5-speed automatic and the manual. Every 5000K, oil change is must in a both automatic transmissions and please avoid fast accelerations, especially in the cold. Car is heavy and you don't want to put so much pressure on the transmission if you want the car to last longer and serve you longer. Brakes have very interesting system. Most of the braking is in the back brake calipers, so you don't actually feel it. And that feel makes car drive smoother. The most funny gadget here in this car is that you can close the car through the trunk lock that tells you is it locked or not. So, driving of W140 S500. There is nothing else in the market that will give you the same quality, the same ride and uh, the sense of peace and uh, happiness, comfort, sense of safety. Nothing else in the market except of the Rolls-Royce race. I drove Rolls-Royce race so I can tell you that you can compare those two cars. W140 is much better than the new S-Class, much better in terms of the materials, leather, wood, um, finishing quality of uh, ride, because the new S-Class is it's not a soft car compared to this one, you know, because just it's not it's not and it's not as luxurious as this one even the Maybach the top trim level the leather there feels not as here here it feels perfect the car is how many years I think it's more than 20 now and the condition is ideal of the leather the mileage is not uh, I would not say the mileage is low 150,000 kilometers but leather everywhere, even in the driving seats, it's new. It's like a brand new leather. And you cannot compare it to anything that in the market today. In the Central Asia, W140 is very valuable car. Very valuable car. I saw about three years ago, W140 was sold for hundred and twenty thousand dollars yes it was basically brand brand new car it had only 18,000 kilometers mileage it was a black s600 and it was from Japan and it sold for hundred and twenty thousand dollars not for one month not for two months in one week it was sold in one week they sold it without any problems but the interesting thing is that they brought two cars. One was black, another one was white. The white one had 20,000 kilometers mileage. It's still pretty low. Same perfect condition, same engine, everything. Only the color was white, that's it. 
the price of the white one was hundred and ten thousand dollars and they couldn't sell it for six months now this car park was near my house where they sold the car so I was occasionally visiting them and asking the price so white one in first months it dropped to 100 then 80 then 90 then after six months it was 30,000 thirty thousand dollars and I don't know did it sell it or not because white color is the most horrible color that you can pick in this W140 nobody wants to buy white W140 nobody even toys toys that are left are white toys everybody buy, buys black W140s but nobody buys white W140s nobody that's a strange thing I like the pull of the car it pulls not with the force but with love and it stops with love and care and luxury and then there's nothing that you can do this nothing I really I really love it it's just in perfect condition it's all perfect it's very nice it's very subtle I love it I, I really do love it I can buy this W140 today sell my car and buy it but I will never enjoy it because uh, first of all fuel price is expensive and I don't want to buy it and put it in my house and drive it once a week I want to drive it every day every day 100 kilometers maybe 50 kilometers non-stop driving that's my goal and I don't want to save on the parts and maintenance I want to buy the original parts you know change all the liquids everything on time so it will require a lot of money for maintain maintenance buying the car is not the problem maintaining is is expensive that's why I'm uh, saving up for now and one day I will buy it and use it and enjoy it every day without limitations I love W140 I think that's the best car for me, it's not the best car in the world in terms of reliability, in terms of um, acceleration, speed and stuff like that. There are more uh, other options in the same like price range. There was also, you know, but this car has my heart. It stole my heart from the first time I drove this car till today. I love it, I adore it and I think there is no other luxury car even in the Mercedes that was better than this car that's just uh, my opinion in my experience I drove tons of different W140s manuals uh, V8s the only car I didn't drive is the V12 S the 7.3 liter AMG that's the only one I didn't drive I drove S600s, uh, 280s, 320s, and oh, that man doesn't look where he's going. He, where is he going? All right. And all of them, they had the same this magic of W140 on the right comfort. The secret of this car is the experience of driving. It's so soft, it's so nice, and only Rolls Royce race, really, I can compare this car to. In today in 2020 in my experience that I drove the 7 series I drove the new WW the, I, the new W222 and the Maybach they they cannot compare to this car they cannot be compared to this car because uh, they just really I'm sorry but they are they feel not as good as this does this just uh, this is my dream this is my dream car and I'm very glad I drove it today the first time I drove it was in Japan my neighbor he had a blue W140 my neighbor's father sorry and it had this golden engravings of V12 and uh, that was just something that I did not expect to see and still I don't know why 
on some of them there are V12 badging that are painted gold color. Please, if somebody watches it right now and knows the answer, write in the comment. That's really interesting. For me because I saw two cars like that and both of them were blue, like metallic blue. And both of them were S600 also. I drove that Japanese car uh, 40 or 30 meters and that's it. That was the moment that car stole my heart. Here inside of W140, right now, I'm driving it. I don't care about anything in the world. I don't care about uh, debt. I don't care about problems, uh, work, or anything. Or anything else. About this guy who almost crashed in my to right side because he didn't turn the indicators. I don't care about him, nothing. The only thing I care about is to drive this car non-stop, don't give the keys to the owner, to the authority showroom, just don't give it to them, don't stop the video and keep driving it. That's the only thing I care about. Because this car makes you feel happy, it makes you feel calm and safe. And there's nothing else in the world I would rather drive than W140. That's true. That's true. It makes me happy. It makes me cry from happiness. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Write comments. And uh, don't forget about the charity. I'm very sad today because I have to give the keys right now to the owner and to the wonderful authority showroom that uh, gave me this car to drive. But uh, what are you going to do? except work hard and buy it that's the only option i have so thank you so much take care and bye bye